Well, I'm all packed up and ready to hit the trail again. I was just camped right there. And today is Thursday, August 3rd, I do believe. This is Sheep Lake. Beautiful area. Travis continues ahead. Still got a lot of that smoke out this morning. I heard there were some, uh, they were from some fires up north, like BC or something like that. So I can see the highway down there. <clears throat> Chinook Pass will be coming up real shortly now. Or Chinook, Chinook Pass? Chinook Trailhead anyway, something like that. I'm on the trail a little bit earlier than usual. Uh, it's about 6.30 right now. So, make it a nice big day. I'm gonna make from 20 to 23 miles today. Hopefully 23. See how my legs do. That'll put me nice and close to White Pass, the Cracker Barrel where I have my resupply. I'm picking that up tomorrow. Another beautiful calm morning. I really wish the smoke would go away though. <laughs> I'm leaving the Chinook Pass trailhead right now and continue on the PCT. Look at all these wildflowers here. Such a healthy population of bees too. It's always nice to see. Highway 410, we're about to cross it. I think that uh, structure right there is our bridge. That's awesome. Trail here goes to Tipsu Lake. This is a cool bridge. Wow. Here I am entering the William O. Douglas Wilderness. It's 
still some snow up here. These are the views from mile 330. I'm here at mile 331.7, the Dewey Lake Inlet. Dewey Lake is just right behind those trees over there. Looks like a pretty decent sized lake too. Quite a few campsites here around Dewey Lake, but there are a lot of mosquitoes. There's a lake over there. Yeah, quite a few really nice campsites, but tons and tons of mosquitoes. This here is Dewey Lake. Big, beautiful, clean lake. Or clear water anyway. Little fish jumping. Lots of mosquitoes, oh boy. I'm here at the Seasonal Creek, mile 333.4. This water is nice and cold. This here is Anderson Lake, mile 334.1. PCT continues up here. No camping around Anderson Lake. That's what the sign said there. It's hard to make out Rainier with all that smoke there, but yeah, it's right there. Wow, we're really close now. Huge, oh my goodness. I found water. <laughs> Thought I had to wait another three miles uh, to the next lake or whatever it was. Oh yeah, coming right from that snow too. 
probably a better water source than what's up ahead anyway. Fresher, cleaner, and colder. Oh yeah. Still very smoky out. Filtered a liter into my water bladder and drank a liter, and I'm back on the trail. Yeah, that was ice cold water. <laughs> Won't be there for long. Snow's melting. It's super hot out today again. Well, I just had to ford the bumping river here at mile 344. Uh, there's a big group of people down there. Everyone's trying to get across. And yeah, it definitely went up to my knees. And yeah, I just put my Crocs on so I wouldn't get my shoes wet. It's so hot out here. Having your shoes wet, my goodness. They would be incredibly dirty, so. Try to keep them as clean as possible. From the mud, anyway. I'm gonna take a little break here and Keep on going. And it's still hot out too. That cold water <laughs> tastes so damn good. That was the creek at mile 345.5.3. Pretty good water source anyway. Pretty good camping here as well. Real nice spot over there. Right here as well. Yeah, really close to the water. So I was just looking at the Gut Hooks app, kind of where I was going to camp tonight. And there's a <clears throat> snow lake coming up real shortly. And the comments uh, for that lake, it says <laughs> uh, it should be renamed Mosquito Lake. I take it there's a lot of mosquitoes around here. I know there is, just hiking up to this lake already I've noticed that there's a ton of mosquitoes. And, but then uh, the next lake, it's called Pipe Lake, and <laughs> I was reading the comments on there, and it said, it should be renamed Super Mosquito Lake. Oh my God, damn it. Because, uh, Yesterday at Sheep Lake, there's pretty much no bugs. I couldn't believe it. I'm not sure why, what's the difference, but this whole area is a little more swampy and you know, little puddles and ponds everywhere. Still, still water. So, I really wouldn't mind going up to Pipe Lake. That would only leave me about six miles, seven miles for tomorrow. Uh, to get into town. So that'd be nice. I'm not sure. Do I want the mosquito super mosquito lake? Oh boy. Yeah, just like that. Still water like that. 
everywhere. It's just mosquito heaven. <laughs> I'm here beside Pipe Lake, mile 350.6. It's right there. And I'm looking for a campsite. I just passed a pretty nice one, but there was already an older couple there. There was a nice, n another flat spot right beside them. If I can't find anything else, I'm gonna go back and, and camp there, but. Pretty sure there's got to be another another campsite up ahead. This lake's a little, quite long, so oh, this is day's coming to an end again. Another day. It's been a big day. Got on the trail this morning at 6:30, and been I think it's pretty much 6:30 right now. So yeah, it's been a big day. Here a little bit off the trail, and I think this will be home for tonight. Wow, this is lovely. <laughs> nice spot right here for a tent. Nice fire pit. Another nice spot over here for a tent. Well, I'm here on my own private little beach. <laughs> you know, grab some water and then jump in for a little swim and yeah, wash up. Oh, it's gonna feel good. <laughs> Damn, that feels so good. <laughs> Holy crap. Oh, I'm so glad I came to this lake. A great campsite and beautiful lake.
Oh, what another great ending to a great day. Oh, yesterday I jumped into Sheep Lake too. <laughs> oh my goodness, it's so comfortable. See some fish jumping. Sun's about to go down. Nice and clean. Tent set up. I am hungry. I mean, uh, cook me up supper and yeah, relax. I think today was a 23.6 mile day. I'm gonna double check it, but yeah, my biggest day yet. I feel pretty good, so. Oh yeah. <laughs> Still loving it out here. Seen some guys jumping off of here earlier into the water. <laughs> my camp. Water's almost boiling. It's supper time. So it's night for supper. I'm gonna have some hamburger helper, a ramen noodles, hot sauce, olive oil, and some spices. The water's already boiling. Well, I'm all set up here, all nice and clean, and my supper's ready. About to eat. Now, first thing when I get into my, um, when I, after I set up my tent, I grab my sleeping pad, my sleeping bag, and my pillow. I pull it out of its bag and pump up the mattress, or the air mattress, and just kind of curl it up out of the, out of the way and then I'll sit on my sit pad uh, eat my supper in my tent when the bugs are really bad thank goodness for bug netting my goodness <laughs> got your own little sanctuary from away from the bugs in the middle of the woods so that's really nice so I'm just gonna eat my supper and uh, yeah, call it a night. <laughs> Probably go to bed a little bit early today. It's a pretty big day for me. Um, got 12 hours of hiking, and I did uh, 23.8 miles. And I just looked at it. It's 23.8 miles. That's the biggest day, uh, yeah, up until now. Um, I think my second biggest day was 22.2 miles. And I did that on the third day. <laughs> so, third or fourth day, I'm not even sure now. Anyway, yeah, I'm gonna eat supper and call it a day. See you guys tomorrow.